Nation. Yo, yo, what's going on? Is that guy not locked? I'm here doing a dread review today on the most requested. This is Adam Killa. Never heard of this guy, but right off the bat, he reminds me of like a black or like a Latino little pump. Well, to get right into this dread review, his locks looking rather familiar. At the least, I want to very say at the least, they look very familiar considering that Little Pump has similar hairstyle. Um, also on similar wagons of like Little Yachty, even though they're not dreads, but he's got the same kind of color scheme happening. A lot of people these days into the thin locks with multi-colored hair kind of going on with them. These locks looking pretty manipulated, I won't lie. Not saying that they're going to be any free form, but they definitely look like they've been forced into this situation of locking. And looking up close, we can see his dreads in fact looked pretty interlocked at this point. Notice how tight this, the roots are uh, at the scalp. Almost looks like an interlock has just been made or a twist has been ha occurred, but it's definitely right up to his roots and right up to his scalp. Seeing the pictures like this, you can see that his hair is very vibrant at its most. Definitely the pink and the purple kind of going on here. To achieve this, you're gonna have to bleach your hair first and then put the dye in. It's gonna be a lengthy and costly procedure, but it does turn out pretty dope if you're going for the outlandish style like this. It's kind of wanky. Very, very vibrant. Uh, we can see that the roots haven't been dyed or upkept with. It's just been the ends that are dyed pink. Uh, new growth coming in looking like it's black hair. But definitely he's got the thin interlocks going on here. Shooting on the video here, shooting on some shows, long hair. And uh, we can see his hair here as well being very long at its most. Kind of looks like a mop top, like it almost doesn't seem like it's his real hair when you first look at him. But it's cool to see the, the style that's coming out about from it. Uh, pictures like this, seeing his hair falling in front of his face. It almost tends to be that he has like over a hundred dreads. In another close up video here, we can see the texture of his locks. Scarring in effect, new growth has been twisted to the scalp, malatite. So you kind of see some like sparse areas on his roots right now because everything is exposed. It's funny that this, the society's stereotype on dreads is that exposed scalp like this is quote unquote a neat look. This is a look that's going to get you a, a job. Uh, when in reality this is an unhealthy look to have your scalp so exposed. Funny, it's funny to, to look into that. We can kind of see some braid out kind of feelings hap looking here. Blah, blah, blah. Um, mad length, ponytails in effect, no problem. He almost looks like he's mixed. Like half, half Asian, half black. Definitely a cool mixture to have in order for dredge to occur. Trying to find some pictures of him when he was didn't have the locks. We can see on the sides he's kind of got some tapered happening, just to clean up on the edges. Uh, at this point here, the new growth hasn't been retwisted at all. Uh, actually, just looks like it's been freshly dyed. So this photo here, we can see the new growth hasn't been redyed for a while, but the dreads are tight to his scalp, showing that they are twisted. They are being twisted. We can see that his hair was purple amongst when he started out the, the dyeing process. Always being sure to rock the wacky hairstyles when you have dreads. It is fun. It does boost your confidence quite a bit. Try it out if you haven't yet. Double ponytail like this, pigtails, is, is, is one way to start. <laughs> Here's when his dreads were a little bit shorter. Still got the same color scheme going on though. And uh, just starting off the video here with a quick picture of him before the dreads. This is before the dreads. You can see that he actually had an afro coming in. Uh, but 
But you know, <clears throat> this afro actually reminds me of a mixed afro uh, and is a great starting point for dreads. And with this hair type, he could freeform, interlock, or twist it up, whatever he really wanted to do. Uh, in this case, he went with a twisting route, and the outcome uh, was quite surprising. Take a look at what his dreads look like now. It's honestly kind of a mess when you start bleaching and dyeing your hair so much. Like his hair doesn't look really that healthy in the long run of things. But it's all in your choice and your discretion. I'm just trying to give you guys the information as it comes across. But I'm going to end this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the ad damn kill up video. Smash that like button down below. And I'll see you guys over on the Not Nation Instagram page. Peace out my brothers and sisters. Saying, niggas used to